Hey guys, so people always ask the question when a new iOS 7 or iOS beta releases and that is what is new about this update. So this is not a major update as you could hear on the name 7.1 is kind of like a big update uh, in general and I've been going over the, the first beta, the beta 1 or the beta 2, the beta 3 and this is the beta 4. But you can hear this is like tiny updates of 7.1. Uh, this one, uh, what is new in this one is a new slide to unlock uh and also the power power down screen has also been upgraded a little bit it seems so we start off here with the power down screen you can see that i think it is the animation up here at the top which is slightly slightly changed uh, from what i've heard maybe they've changed also the blur uh, how much they've added and um yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe they also made it so you can now see that scrolling thing uh, when you when you are closing uh, turn or turning off your device. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at that after this video when this video kind of ends. You can also see here on the lock screen uh, that this one seems to be a little bit changed. I think this this little thing that slides over seems to be a little bit edited even though it's still not a major, super major thing, but this is on the iPhone 5S. It's a 120 megabyte update uh, from what I've seen. Uh, also, you should have a new voice gender for Siri in UK, uh, seems on the iPad, uh, which then again, I mean, it's, it's not really a major, major thing here that it's gonna be for everyone. Um, I'm not even sure if we can go into that. French, German, UK, voice, gender, male, female. I'm not sure what you have on your iPad, uh, but it should be a, like a new voice gender from what I've seen. Maybe the voices change from the male or the female. Uh, speed should be better, uh, both speed and better performance. Apple also told that they were doing bug fixes and stuff and 120 megabytes you can definitely see stuff some interesting stuff in here i still also think that you can jailbreak this uh, this uh, upcoming update you could jailbreak 7.1 beta 3 with a modified version of evasion so hopefully you will probably also be able to jailbreak this very very easy if you want to install this yourself uh, go check out my description or video in the description down below you basically just need to register your UD ID if you don't want to pay for a full the developer account and then you can download the, the beta. Um, so bug fixes should be a big thing. Uh, and then I've heard this thing that they've changed the photos app, how it looks. Uh, still, I mean, it's just one of those tiny, tiny, tiny things that people don't um, think too much about. We have some pretty interesting stuff, of course, from the beta three here, we rounded off the sign here, which looks pretty epic. And when you, when you get some calls and stuff, uh, which I've been going over, and um, uh, I think actually beta three might have been a little bit bigger in, in, in terms of the uh, what you got in update. Also got some interesting things here in the 7.1. I think that you got touch ID and passcode out here in, in the root. Uh, but I'm gonna compare it probably against some with Open 4 and probably check it out on some other uh, iOS devices. Uh, and then you can also tell me what you wanna see if there's anything specific. And if you wanna get it on your iOS device, remember uh, that if you don't sign register your UDID, you're gonna get some problems. Uh, to to go through the install process. Uh, so it's very, very cheap. So you just get that if you want to have the latest beta. I would recommend it. Most people used, uh, I mean, if you wanna experiment, definitely uh, uh, do it. Uh, but for if you aren't that experienced with installing and uh, installing different firmwares and stuff, you probably shouldn't do that. Uh, but uh, if you find anything more also that's new, you can then write that in the comment section down below. So uh, yeah, just a quick little video here. Hopefully you did enjoy. Peace out.